that's a nice that's a nice photo right ruined it's awful when you snap a nice photo or what you think is a nice photo and it's ruined by someone that's in the background that shouldn't be there an incorrect angle that cuts off the top of something or scaling issues when the people in the photo don't look the appropriate size that they should. Fortunately, with One UI 6.1, Samsung built a solution. Daniel here from Sam Mobile TV, and here is every way that you can use the generative edit function within Galaxy AI. So you've just taken a photo and something has ruined it, whether that be the way you've taken it, whether it be someone stepping in the background or whether it just be you don't like it. There's a number of reasons. Samsung with its generative edit and Galaxy AI has got some ways to fix it. So we're gonna go through every single way that you can do it and show you the outputs from each solution. The first thing I wanna show you is the angle correction. Before we get into any of that, let's show you where this generative edit is. If you go into a photo and you don't like the look of it and you hit the edit button, within the photo editor, Samsung have built the little AI tool in the bottom left corner. When you press that, you get taken through to the AI edit function. Now the first edit that we wanna show you is how to correct the angle of a photo. This example here is my son wearing his Easter bunny ears and the top of the ears have been cut off. So whilst the angle of the photo is fine, it's cut something off the top of it. Down the bottom left corner, you will see a little slider. This slider is what allows you to correct the angle. So if you adjust this to the angle that you want, you'll see around the photo is some blank space that gets generated. What's going to happen is when you find the right angle that you want to change, you press generate down the bottom. And then what will happen is using AI and Samsung's backend servers, it will work to fill in and generate an entirely new background to fill that space in. It does take a while. So with this first one, I am going to let it play in real time. And I'm just going to talk over the top of it as long as I can to sort of stretch it out and fill in the space because it does take its time. Once it's done, you'll see that it'll show you the result. And down the bottom right corner, there's an option to see what it looked like before and then show you what it looks like after it's been edited. With the view original, you can then see and compare. And it actually, this one does a really great job of filling in around his legs, filling in around the ears, and just in general, keeping the background as it was. What I really like too is this was a portrait photo. So it's actually kept the bokeh and reproduced that as well. Really great job. And this is one of the first way to use it. What you'll also notice too, is that when you do save it as a copy, because it allows you to save as a copy, not overwrite the original, which I think is really clever because if you save it over the original, then you lose the original. Not really, but you get my point. In the bottom left corner is the little AI logo. So this logo is what you'll see when it's an AI generated photo. That's just to let people know that this was not completely as shot there was some tweaks done using ai the second way you can use this is to adjust the size of something in the photo so this uses samsung's object recognition tool so when you tap on something or whether you circle around something it immediately tries to snap and recognize the object that you're clicking on so again once you've gone into the ai tool and you see the photo that you want this is a photo of my son and my daughter what i want to fix here is the fact that my daughter's in the foreground and she's a little bit shorter than my son so just for fun, I want to try and make her the same height and sort of make them be a little bit on par with each other. There's two ways I can do this. I can tap on her and it'll automatically snap and recognize her, or I can use a circle sort of thing around the subject and it will recognize it. Depending on how precise you are with your circling, you might not get it right. So you're best just to snap and let the phone do the work for you. Once you have got the object selected, you long press down to sort of remove them from the photo in a sense that now, now you can adjust it. So to adjust the size, you literally just drag the corners up and down and around and move it into the position you want. And same as the angle adjustment as before, you can see now that there's like a gap or a, or a blank space that's sort of been created. AI does this for you. You press generate and it will then fill in the gaps using the servers and the algorithms that it's got. Now, this one I've cut short, I've sped it up because we don't, we don't have all day. What you can see at the end result here is it's done a incredible job of fixing the gaps that's been created. And they're very subtle. There were again, things like the pants area of my son, like the pockets, and then the gap in between the two of them that got opened up has also had to be filled in. And it's done an incredible job of filling in that gap and making that whole. I really like what Samsung did with it here. And the scaling looks kind of natural, at least at first glance, you might have to peek a little bit to notice it looks a tad bit off, but 
not everyone will sort of be looking that closely if it's just going into Instagram, for example. Again, down the bottom, using the View Original button, you'll see the difference. And again, Samsung have done a really good job with this. Really clever. Now, there's two examples I've got here to remove objects, because this is something that I think most of you will try and use this for. It's the predominant reason why a lot of people would get into this AI stuff. But the other two are just as important but this is the main one. The first one I want to show you is this photo of my son and daughter standing there looking very sweet. But in the background, there's all this mess because we've just forgotten to clean up parenting. So I want to sort of remove that using AI. Again, I go around and select all the objects in the background that I want to be gone. And then I long press on the screen wherever on the last item that I've selected and hit the erase button. It then removes them and creates the gap in the picture. Hit generate. And again, using AI, it's then going to work to remove those objects from the picture. And it will do its best to fill it in either using the background around you. Some cases that I've had, it just literally replaces the item, which is super strange. Like for example, this photo of my daughter where I removed her from the picture and both the S23 Ultra and S24 Ultra replaced her instead of just removing her. Very weird. But in this situation, it's removed the objects from the background, creating a nice clean picture. I really like it. And then this next one, very similar, except I want to remove a person from the background. Well, I guess they're not really in the background, they're just, just kind of there. And again, it's my son and my daughter playing at the beach, sort of, or in the foreground of the beach at least. And there's a couple of things I want to get rid of here. The first is the stuff that's on the table. I don't like it. It's overshadowing what the photo really is. And the second is the man that's there, just hanging around. So again, I'll select them using the selection tool, long press, hit the erase button, hit generate. What you'll find that's quite interesting is with the man completely removes it and actually does a stellar job of making the gap that's been filled in look incredibly natural. The stuff in the foreground on the table, it's gotten rid of most of it, but on the outer skirts, it's kind of replaced it with not, not a drink bottle, but like a glass jar, I want, I want to say. Very interesting that it's done that, but I still think on the whole, it's done a really, really good job of doing that. So that's the generative edit. That's how to use it. Let me know if you've used it in the comments below and some of the success you've had. Make sure you hit subscribe because we've got a whole series coming this week of all of the AI functions and how to use them with a very intense breakdown. So come back each day to check that out. Come follow us on all our socials. Come follow us on our website, sammobile.com. I'll see you next time. Thanks. If you've liked the look of Galaxy AI and you want to try it for yourself, check the link out in the description to grab your Samsung device with Galaxy AI today.